Hi, Steve Dangle here. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know where this video is going. But, I think I'll start by saying, I'm a Leafs fan. Mm-hmm. Yep, I am. Have been for a very long time. You can tell by all the stuff on the walls, you can, you can tell by the jersey I'm wearing. It's not a Tampa Bay Lightning jersey that I'm wearing. Oh, I wish I cheered for a winning team! And I could! I could cheer for a winning team. I could leave at any moment, but I haven't. Because I cheer for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And if you've been following the podcast recently, if you've been following my tweets recently, you'll know that I hate the team that I cheer for right now. Did you pay very close attention to that sentence I just said? I hate the team that I cheer for right now! Do you see how pointed and specific that was? I hate the team that I cheer for right now! Three extremely important pieces of the puzzle. Now, I think part of fandom, and I like to think I, I, I have a doctorate in fandom, I think a big part of fandom is sometimes you hate the team that you cheer for. Now some people say, nah bro, through thick and thin, it's just a flip of the coin. F thick and thin, I cheer for them no matter what. I've been here this whole time, I'm gonna keep being here. And I think you're a liar. I kinda think the people who say that are at least partially lying. The Toronto Maple Leafs, really who haven't won a Stanley Cup since 1967, which might not matter to you if you're not old enough, but they haven't won a playoff series in 17 years! And then I have some people go, oh man, don't you remember how it was like five, six years ago when they weren't even making the playoffs? The bar is below the ground! The bar is being trampled by ants and worms! That that is the bar! Making the playoffs at all is the bar! Doing anything in them? Ah, that's just bonus. For goodness sakes, guys. For goodness sakes. What, I, I think part of my frustration is people acting like hating the team that you cheer for sometimes is unusual or uncommon. For, for goodness sakes, I put all my faith in this team. And I give my honest opinion on this team. And I am very critical of this team when I don't think they're ready, when I don't think they're good enough, when they slip up, when they fall, etc, etc. This season? This season? This past season? With the exception of a few hiccups. Because this team, admittedly, raised the bar for itself. I was all on board. I was totally on board! Through injuries, through thick and thin, no matter who the opponent was, they showed up! Sure, they blew a 5-1 lead to the Sens and they lost to the Canucks. After the Canucks, uh, half the team got COVID and hadn't played for a month. Sure! Sure! But other than those two little hiccups, they were first place in the North Division. They were the cream of the crop. They were great. And I decided, you know what? I'm all in. I'm not just in. I'm all in. This team is a team not just worth cheering for, but a team worth believing in. Should they beat the Habs in first round? Should they beat the Habs? First place in the North Division, seven wins out of 10 against the Habs, and sixth in the entire league. Take it on the 18th place team, of course I should put all my faith in. And oh, look at that, the Jets swept the Oilers. I, I was worried that the Leafs were gonna have to play McDavid in the Oilers. All right, I bet the Leafs beat the Jets. Oh my goodness. Then we go to round three, we go to the final four, and then it's anybody's game! Who knows who they play? Who knows how it goes? They have a 25% chance of the Stanley Cup. I haven't seen that since I was literally in high... No! Elementary school! I was an elementary school student! The last time the Leafs were a final four team, and I said, you know what? Because that was the bar. That was the bar. I would have been happy with that. I would have been happy with only getting halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> they they would have gone to the third round and not even won it! And I would have been like, you know what? Well, gosh darn it, that's progress. Because they got this young core, and they got the, the you know, uh, all these young players who are only getting better, and look at this, it's progress. Oh. You, you, but you get a you get a 41-year-old Joe Thornton. I mean, of course the goal is to win the Stanley Cup. Of course the goal is to win the Stanley Cup. I'm sure they were going to try. But I was really all in with this team. And oh my goodness, the story. John Tavares goes down. It's just this team's luck. It's horrible. It's all horrible. Everything about it was horrible. But 
But then the darndest thing happened. They won three straight games. They dominated game two. They won a tight game three, which should have been a nail in the coffin for the Montreal Canadiens. And then they played their most perfect playoff game in about a decade with a 4 nothing win in game four. They had three kicks at the can to eliminate the Montreal Canadiens. Yes, I'm walking you through all of this because you need to know. You need to understand where I'm coming from. All right? If I'm going to be able to talk about this team on the podcast, if I'm going to be able to make videos about them because they're going to be in the news over the next little bit, if I'm going to be able to do this, I need to get this off my chest, all right? They had three chances. Game five. Holy smokes, were they terrible in game five. But guess what? They overcame a three-goal deficit, forced overtime, blew it. All right, game six. Well, again, they get their show run in game six. It was even worse in game six. Guess what? They come back again. Multi-goal deficit, they come back again, they force overtime, and they dominate overtime, and guess what? They blew it! Blew it! Game 7 comes, and for at least the third consecutive season, Game 7, or Game 5 against Columbus, it, it's the third consecutive season. The worst game of the series was their last! That's not what good teams do. That's not even what developing teams do for crying out loud. It's just what bad teams do. And it's not about being able to trust the Toronto Maple Leafs. I think a lot of my frustration that you've heard on the podcast, seen on Twitter, in these videos, a lot of the frustration you might think has to do with the Toronto Maple Leafs. And I lash out at the Toronto Maple Leafs and their their moves and they're about to lose Hyman for... Well, he's going to go to free agency. Hopefully they, they're able to get something for his rights for crying out loud. I'm mad at the team for a variety of reasons. But you know what it actually is? I'm mad at myself. When they lost to Columbus, I was mad at the Leafs. When they lost to the Montreal Canadiens, I was mad at myself. I was all in. I let down my guard entirely. I embraced the very best parts of being a fan, which is believing wholeheartedly and unconditionally that my team that I cheer for would win. And then they blew it in humiliating, like, like copyright trademarked fashion. No team knows how to lose in style. Buzz Lightyear, that wasn't flying, that was falling with style. That is the Leafs with losing. No one does it like them. It's an Olympic sport. Oh, there are teams that do it more than them. But no one loses quite as humiliatingly as the Toronto Maple Leafs. And, a little, little factor here, when I was going through all those emotions, watching them, Game five, eh, I wasn't as worked up. Game five, eh, they get two more kicks at the can. But game six, if you look at my face, you look at my reaction when they blew it in overtime of game six, and if you look at my face the entire time during game seven, I'm devastated. And I'm devastated in front of five digits of people, thousands and thousands of people watch those live streams on Sportsnet and watch my heart for this team slowly die. And that bummed me out a little. And the idea of going into a season next year, 82 games worth of a season. Hey, thank goodness we're back to 82 games. Thank goodness. Some of you can argue that it's a little too long, but I am never going to argue for less hockey. First of all, I work in hockey. Second of all, I love hockey. I want to watch more of it. And after this past season, after these past two years that we've all been through, and I'm talking about the world, not hockey, after these past two years, I want as much hockey as possible. I'm not going to complain about 82 games, but for goodness sake, the idea of going through a whole offseason and getting excited about all the moves that they're going to make and then following that team through 82 games and the ups and downs, or maybe they're all, what if they're all up again? What if this happens again? And then the playoffs come around and then what? I'm honestly not going to be able to forgive these guys or let my guard down the way that I let it down this past spring. I'm not going to be able to do that 
until they at least went around. At least. And even then, because I watched the Carolina Hurricanes, and granted they lost to the Tampa Bay Lightning, but the Hurricanes have been a favorite for a while now. It's been at least two, arguably three or four years. People expecting this team to make noise. They don't make it out of the second round. And it's a bummer. And they should make it out of the second round. Or at very least, making it just to the second round starts to not feel like it's enough. And the personal issues aspect of it all, the likability of this team, the baby fat, the fact that we know some of their controversies, the fact that we know what they make down to the dollar, the dollar. Sites like Cap Friendly and all that. And the fact that they made it that important. Every conversation about moves that make the Leafs better or worse, worse, revolves around money! Revolves around the salary cap. Well, why is that? We all know. I, it's, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm so frustrated that I actually have to justify why I'm frustrated with this team. And then there's the get over it crowd. The get over it crowd. If you're get over it this, like from a hockey perspective, in the grand scheme of things, it's nothing. But we're talking in a hockey context, okay? If you're saying get over it to this particular leaf loss and all the context surrounding it, then I don't want to hear you on anything because you just don't care about anything. It's easy to get over it. It's easy to get over something. It's easy to get over anything when you simply don't care. Do I look like a guy who doesn't care? Do I look like a guy who is not a pained Leaf fan? Oh, you said you cheer for the Montreal Canadiens. I literally never said that. You just believed some idiotic Twitter accounts. I never, ever said I was cheering for the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, but you put on the jersey. Yeah, I put on the jersey. They raised thousands of dollars for sick kids. You goof. Anyway. Sorry, you can. Uh, this is why I had to make the video. I, I pent up. Pent up. My whole thing is caring. My whole thing. I care a lot. It's not that I cheer for the Toronto Maple Leafs, it's that I care about them. I care about what happens. That's what fandom is. It's caring. Sharing is caring. Fandom is caring. That's what I would say. I care so much about this team and people who don't care frustrate the hell out of me. Not about the Leafs. Like, uh, like I'm obviously, I, I bring this passion to a lot of things. I, I, I care a lot about everything. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should care less. I don't know. Sometimes I look at people who don't care and they do frustrate me, but I also go, God, that looks like such a relaxing life. But the fact that I care so much is going to make winning better. Or so I've been told because they never win. That's the frustration. So I care about the Leafs. Whew, thank you. I think I, I'm breathing like my oxygen intake is bigger now that I've, I've made this video. Thank you. I care about this team. I care about the moves they're about to make. I care about this team. I just want them to win. And after the way that they lost this past season, I don't know how they're going to do it. Like I said, I can't trust myself anymore. At first, I didn't trust the Leafs. And then when I did, when I saw the team that they went into the playoffs with, I thought, I thought surely this is it. 
every conversation we have about the Leafs on the podcast accidentally reaffirms all my dread. Well, dude, John Tavares got hurt. Well, dude, the salary cap structure of this team, I accidentally said salary cap, that was a Freudian slip. The salary cap structure of this team makes them more vulnerable to a player getting injured. Or when a player gets injured, they're more vulnerable. Oh, they could just Kucherov it. No, they literally couldn't. The Tampa Bay Lightning were good enough to do what they did with Nikita Kucherov. The Toronto Maple Leafs super aren't. What are they going to do? Put Matthews on LTIR? For as much as the fan base is mad at him. What, what are you going to do? Put Marner on LTIR and expect anything good to happen? That dude led the team in scoring. What are you talking about? He was top five in league scoring. This is what I'm mad about. Okay? But any Leafs fans who think they lost me, you haven't. I'm just in a very, very, very bad mood. Which fans are allowed to be in. And I would argue, being in a bad mood and kind of hating your team sometimes makes you a better fan. Because it's harder to do. It's playing, it's being a fan on legendary difficulty. Liking what they do no matter what takes no effort. None. Hey, go Leafs go no matter what. Yeah, I got a Jonas Gustafson jersey. Hell yeah. Vesa Toskala. He was great. Like, it's... That's easy. It takes no effort. It takes no, no brain power. It takes nothing. But hating them sometimes and being there anyway, that's being a fan. I look forward to loving them again. I really do. So. We got a lot coming up, obviously. I'm working on a bunch of trade trees. Got a bunch of podcasts coming up. Um, what else? Uh, the draft. The expansion draft before that, then two days worth of the draft. And then free agency. And then a vacation. Which I think you can tell I need. Leave a comment in the comment box down below. What, what did you think of this rant? I don't even know how long I just went. But for now, that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really like it. Liked it. Sorry, I'm out of practice. Tell all your friends. It's okay to be mad at the team that you love. Especially when they deserve it. They do. They had three shots. 